Johnny, what's going on here today? Yep, just fixing this thing. All right, so day one of fixing Ronnie's son of a bitch. We got uh, some of these lower control arms, shocks, coil spring stuff. Picked it up off Craigslist. I guess some guy lifted his truck, but stuff looks like brand new. And um, so to get it in here, I had to throw this uh, spare tire on here and just kind of wallet her in here. But here are the, you know, those control arms that are all all dicked. Um, so you gotta yank all that crap out, you know, drop the axle down and, and get it, uh, the new ones in there so we could at least move it around. Um, gonna throw a different tire on the back. Here's a, another spare one, cause that one popped. And I guess leave this on here for a little while until he figures out other wheels and tires. I got, uh, found this bumper yesterday on Craigslist. And then, you know, along with all these same same color match parts so got pretty lucky with that but gonna have to paint you know little it's got some scuffs and stuff here and there but uh well, at least it'll look halfway presentable for a little while how's it look this side's not bad it's the other side you ought to see well i was just over there no just have to go over there and look again what is it So let's explain. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that. That's some shit right there. That's kind of a little, a little lopsided, huh? Show him his ball joints. How are the ball joints? Did you rip them out or what? Oh wow, yeah, look at that. You're gonna need some of those, huh? Yeah, it was probably about due for a new set anyways. Yeah, look at that spring. That thing's all wallered in there. Oh, probably gonna have to use the damn ratchet to come along to pull that axle back into the things, huh? Hmm. What do you think? Are you gonna help us with this or no? No. Probably no. not. What are you doing on your phone? I'm just chilling. What are you, what are you doing? Are you planning? No, I'm just chilling. You're planning, dude. No, look. I heard it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what are you doing right here today? Is this yours? Yeah, I just right, gotta right. gotta collect my resources. And then how much time have you wasted? How, how much of your life have you wasted on this? I don't know, probably like a year. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Well, there you go. Work. There's my five minutes a day. Oh, that's a lie. See if you can get it. What? Don't fucking put me in, Dick. Oh. All right, so we're over here. Oh. The driver's side. We got one of these things out. There's the there's the bushing, the big ass bolt, but. Uh, Working on this this side right here. So what do they need to do? You just can't get the, it broke loose or it doesn't want to come off the rest of the way? Well, I don't know if there's something going on in the back. It might be welded to the back. Yeah. Well, when you're working on something, I mean, you, you think it's supposed to go go real quick and, and painless and then and then you, you dig down deeper and then, you know, the first thing you start dicking with ends up being the thing that takes the friggin' longest. So you had to drop the exhaust to get this this lower um, or this upper control arm bolt out because the exhaust right behind it and the bolt you know comes out this way so you have to push the bolt back out that way. Right here, this stupid uh, camber bolt on the lower control arm is uh, like completely seized on the inside of the bushing. So right in here, you know, basically those threads right there or that piece of, of shit is you know seized on the inside of that. So I think we're gonna end up having to cut it out. And sorry about my light flicking on off, but yeah, we're gonna have to cut it out. And um, oh, look, you get a little magnet thing. But uh, yeah, so we gotta I'm gonna try pounding a little bit more, and then and then just try to cut this son of a bitch. If you guys have been on my Snapchat, I got uh, we got Donnie the spider over here. We're gonna feed him a bug. Oh yeah. Come on, Donnie. Oh, oh, there you are. What are you doing? What are you doing, bud? Man, I wish I'd stick something behind that. Okay, focus. Yeah, get him, bud. He's probably wondering what the hell I'm doing with my hand yeah, back here. Yeah, I broke your hand, dude. 
Yeah, but I can't see him. It won't focus. Here we get right here. Donnie, get to work, bud. Come on. He already wrapped it up. Look at him, just wrapping that bastard up. See how he, how he like attaches it on each end and then he just sits there and like rolls it. Mm-hmm. Is he eating it? I don't know, he might be saving him for later. Probably still full from the other day. I fed him like three big green bugs the other day and he turned to green. After he looked like he was going to explode and he was green because he ate them all. Yeah, well, shit. At least we have some sort of entertainment around here. Stupid damn truck. Oh man, what a what a pain in the ass that was. Um, right here, you can see the stupid disc exploded on me right at the at the end. Um, here's the here's the initial bolt that was that we cut. Here's the right there. There's the second one. Cut that all the way through. But uh, it's a big big pain in the ass because what I had to do was, you know, stick this this little guy up in there and go up in between there. And then I had to get on the other side up from the front. You can see where it was it was digging in there a little bit, but uh yeah, I got that got that bastard cut. Where's that? That's right here. Yeah, so you can see this side. This side was all dick, and then this side was this side looks like it like cut inside that. That's weird. That's really weird. But uh yeah, so we got at least you got all that shit cut. And uh, so I guess that's how you remove a lower seize lower control arm bolt in a damn dodge is you just get you know get a new bolt and cut the shit out of it and but yeah I had the you know I had the, the goggles and the you know I had my welding jacket on and some welding gloves just in case any of that shit kinda exploded or you know the saw were to get into me, which I'm glad didn't happen. So this is uh but where we're leaving it tonight. Got the this side control arms on. Just have a screwdriver peeking through there right now because we need to get another bolt. Um, you know the little what the hell do you call those things? Uh, eyelet bolt or camber camber bolt. But need to get one of those. But at least we got this side on. Don't. Uh, I was gonna replace these, but I'm not sure if if uh, these ones are even even dicked or not we kind of put a, a level up against it and the bottom one looks alright but it looks like the bottom um, the bottom bushing is the same exact as the other side so you know gonna have to go ahead and cut that one off if we decide to do it so I'm not I'm not pumped about that one bit but we'll see so we got the both the control arms we had to cut this bastard off over here again that lower one got two of the, the new arms and different shock in it um, this tire we had to put a valve stem in that was the only thing that was messed up with with it from holding air I mean it's got some some slits and shit in it but I mean it it holds air so yeah so both both sides are all replaced got the little little spare on this side um, getting a used set of linkage um, you know right there there's the drag link and all the steering arms and stuff getting a uh, there's a, a recall from from Dodge on this this steering and I guess his truck is actually included in it so we're just putting a used linkage in there and then 
once we get it, uh, you know, get it all all ready to go, then take it down to uh, Dodge, and they'll put all the new steering linkage on it and align it for us. So we won't even have to do that. So should be pretty good. Need to, uh, you know, we got the doors right here's this cab corner that needs uh, needs replaced, or you know, I'm gonna try to pull out as much as I can and and try to fix that. But uh, so yeah, but I think that's. That's about it for night. He's got to go to work and I can't pick all this shit up off here by myself, so. Place all the steering shit right here. We got that uh, steering linkage from the junkyard today, so we got that stuff. And uh, so now we just disconnected the ball joints on each side. And then now I'm trying to get the thing off the pit arm. Get a little shock. It's a little dick, huh? Yeah. Is it ready to go in, you think, Ronnie? Yeah, I'd say so. So we got this, uh, all this new steering, but man, look at how thick. Look at how thick that bastard is. Compared to this cheese mocha shit over here. I mean, look how thin. Tiny little baby shit compared to this like real man shit, which is weird because this this stuff was off of a 05 2500 Dodge with the uh, the gas in it, the Hemi, you know, and then this shit's off of a well 07 and a half 67 Cummins, which is you know, it's just kind of odd. But, yeah. All right, so we're uh, right now. I'm under here. I got this like 10 foot long extension, and I gotta we're disconnecting the bed because you know on account of this guy right here. But, uh, so yeah, I'm over here doing that, and then, what, Ronnie, what are you doing? I'm just taking all the wiring out. Oh, shit. So, yeah, that's... Woo! No. We got the fender off the door. We already replaced the back door. Kind of got in a in a little bit of a rush, but uh, already put this back one on. Um, seems like it lines up pretty decent. You know, still got a little bit of adjustment over here. Got the bed off, and uh, that's just chilling. While well, the other one's outside, this one's hanging out here. Um, haven't decided if we're just gonna pull this corner out or if we're actually just gonna replace the cab corner cut and weld. But uh, I was probably going to try playing with it a little bit, pulling it out and seeing how it goes. And if I don't like how it's coming, then, then we'll just end up, you know, using that other cab corner. 
like I have over over here because the inside over of it is uh, pretty hollow so that should go on pretty easy you know I'd probably probably cut it from about right there up to somewhere in here you know and then just weld all that and then you know grind it and putty it and I'd never be able to tell what did we get done here today nothing no come on no. what did we get done how long did it take us I don't know three what hours I thought you were getting, getting your nuts, dude. <laughs> Alright, so we got, uh, got the fender, the headlight, and both the doors on. Shit, that didn't take us too long. I think 45 minutes or an hour to take them off and, and back on. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out this cab corner right here and, and weld the new, new one in. So I'm messing with, uh, this cab corner now that we got this thing kind of situated in here. Um, so what I'm kind of just doing right now is debating on where to where to actually cut it um, As you can see there's these these spot welds up in the in there and down the down the edge And then there's a few down the back, but it's in this seam right here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Probably just cut it up that seam because this it's like a three layer and then this back layer right here is actually laying on top of this layer So I can't really get that out um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just, uh, actually I might be able to do that, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, I'm going to drill some of these spot welds out right here and see, because there's this whole latch situation. And on the inside, because right here there's this little bend, so the bend is about right there where I put that little imaginary line, and then right on the back side of it's where the hinge goes. But right here, let's see if we can get underneath there, is that hinge. And there's a second, you know, like an L bracket that goes into it. And so that L bracket, you can see there's a spot weld right here. But right here is about where that bend is. And I don't really want to be, you know, welding right in here. I mean, it wouldn't be bad, but I'd rather have a nice flat surface, you know, all the way across. But then there, there's the issue of this. And there's like the second layer that's in there for that. But, uh... Yeah, so I need to figure that out, but I'm just going to drill these spot welds off and try to pop off this whole skin and then cut, you know, straight line essentially here, straight line right there, and then that'll be the only thing I have to really weld on the outside and do body work on, and then all this stuff will be behind the, you know, right here behind the, the trim like that, so. So what I'm getting ready to do right now is uh, kind of do a center punch on these little spot welds down here. It's easy to see. What are those, huh? But, uh, let's see. So right here, um, there's a spot weld. It's like a little punch. And so you have to put, here's the spot weld thing. And uh, so basically what it does is this thing right here is spring-loaded. So it needs to ride in, you know, a pilot hole. And then this outer edge, you know, gets that hole around the circle to uh, basically release the spot weld. So what I'm doing here is I take the little center punch, it's like a spring-loaded punch, and I just get the center of the hole. Like that. I do that, and then I grab the, grab the spot weld thing. You can see that. It stays centered. As long as the movie is still, that whole piece right there will basically just separate from the rest of the from the rest of the metal. As you could tell, see on that one right there, that one did really good. So you can see 
you know, that whole piece will lift up and separate. So I got to do that along the whole line going across and uh, should be good, you know, and then I'll just do the, the whack chop somewhere in here. So after the, the long journey of drilling out all these spot welds, the, this side right here wasn't the, the bad part. The bad part was back here. That wasn't even bad. It was this whole layer right there. Because underneath that was this, uh, let's see, where are we at on here? So underneath that, it was this. So there were spot welds underneath the second layer. And then, you know, so it's like, you know, the hamburger bun on the bottom. And then, you know, the piece that we wanted was the meat in the inside. And then this was the shit on the outside. That was the top bun. So I had to drill through the top bun, through the, the meat, down into the other thing. And then on top of that, I had to peel this shit back right here to get to those ones. You know, those little guys right there where it was only held on by itself. So that was a pain in the ass. So what I'm going to do on this other one, when I go to do it, is uh, just basically cut this just cut it straight in you know and go up to wherever I need to go and then just weld that little corner all the way down and uh, that shouldn't be shouldn't be too hard to do you know especially since there's so much so, so much thick metal right there to weld to so yeah I'm gonna do that and uh, yeah so pretty excited finally got got that whole thing off that was the biggest issue and should be a lot easier now that it's on the on there and this was that thing I was talking about was how this layer was uh, this second layer right here so I had to drill extra deep through those ones so that this hinge you know and I haven't decided if I'm gonna go all the way up for that but I might as well since I'm already here and just you know just do that so yeah. <laughs>